Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Zoe with Tedicam. A big news from last week is that Vimix launched their 29 beta version. And today let's check out what are the new features and a new video over IP protocol they brought up, the OMT, Open Media Transport. In Vimix 29, the overlay channels have expanded from four channels to eight channels. That means you can add more stingers, transitions, and special effect to your production. Now go to the overlay. You'll find Vimix 29 now support eight stingers now. And the second upgrade is easier input control. Finally, you can close an input directly by clicking the X. It's much more intuitive and aligned with how I normally use a computer. The third one is the Go button customization. The quick play button now changed into a Go button. It can now be set up as a custom hotkey. Just go to the uh, input settings, general, and go action. Here you can customize the go action button to preview cut, or you can even customize your own shortcut. Another major upgrade is the instant replay. Well, the sad thing is my computer storage is not big enough to demo this function. So if you're interested, go to Vimix YouTube channel. They did a great explanation on this function in their latest live stream. Of course they did. Well, the next thing and the last one is also the one I personally found most intriguing is the OMT, Open Media Transport. For those who are new to this protocol. It's almost like NDI, but it's a recently released open source with much less complete supporting tools than NDI. In Mimix 29, you'll find the OMT source on the same page as NDI under the add input. You can filter to view only NDI or only OMT sources. And if you've got a lot of feeds, there's now a list view option, not just thumbnails. Despite Vimix, you can also make your computer compatible with OMT. Let's do a signal test first with my limited knowledge. Now first go to openmediatransport.org, download the OMT generator. Run this exe file and choose your video resolution, frame rate, and audio settings. and your computer becomes an OMT source. In Vimix, you can now receive that signal. Since this is an open source, the first live stream software I think about is OBS, and there is a plugin for OBS in the same web page. Download, unzip, and drag the two DLL files into your OBS plugin folder. 64-bit. Open OBS, go to the Tools, OMT Output Settings, and click OK. Now OBS can output OMT, and you can also add OMT sources to your OBS production. Like my laptop signal activated just now. But also please note, Make sure your OBS is up to date. I'm also curious about the latency of this open media transport. So I tested with a millisecond clock feed in OBS OMT and received it in Vimix. There I have it. Add this OBS OMT as a source. Now on the left, is the original cloth website. And on the right is the OMT signal received from OBS. And actually the latency can be even lower because the cloth website is captured as an OMT signal and been transmitted twice. And from the device management, we can see two 1080p60 OMT channels takes around 200 megabits per second and one channel only takes 
98 megabit per second. All right. NDI and OMT are both great video over IP protocols, and I'm really excited that this new one came out. Um, if you're interested, go to their website and check out for more information. That's all for today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one.